Hey YouTubers, well, got a good video for you today. Over the past few years, you guys have seen me go through several kayak trailers and stuff on my channel, and you know, I've even built a, a kayak trailer that I thought was my, my dream kayak trailer, you know, and uh, over the course of uh, the last few years, kayaks seem to keep getting bigger and bigger and adding batteries and motors and fish finders and everything all on there, and so they're just getting heavier and heavier. And so uh, my dream trailer um, went from being my, you know, a, a dream trailer to not such a dream trailer, just simply because it's heavy uh, picking those kayaks up and raising them up up to your chest and even higher, trying to put them up on the rack. And you know, I, so I wanted something that is going to be more user friendly. And so I just picked up a 2022 model Triton jet ski trailer. And come on, let me tell you about it and I'll show you why it's the ultimate kayak trailer so as you can see right here this is it you can see it is all decked out from the front to the back you can see it's got the uh, high spec custom uh, five star looking wheels and there's the spare and you know it's a uh, it's an aluminum trailer and for you guys that's never had an aluminum trailer before uh, it's a, a just a premium material uh, to make a trailer out of and the reason I say that is because you never have to deal with rust issues. And I don't care if you, you know, live near salt water or fresh water. It doesn't matter. You're still going to have to deal with rust. A couple months back, I bought a Comfab trailer, and it was a 2020 model. The thing looked brand new, but it started developing some rust. And, you know, I just didn't want to have to go down that route. So, anyways, I ended up getting rid of the Comfab trailer, and then... Uh, I am wanted to get a more premium trailer that I would never have to deal with rust and so that's where this Triton come in. So the number one thing that I really like about these uh, uh, Triton trailers for the uh, personal watercraft and the one thing that I think that makes it the perfect kayak trailer is its infinite adjustment on this trailer. Uh, some of the older Tritons uh, had a little bit of a track system like right in here. And it wasn't but maybe this long where you could adjust the bunks in and out but the uh, newer ones this like this 2022 model you can see that the track runs the whole length here across the, the whole back of the trailer and then right here across in the front so you can move the bunks in and out or if you want to angle them in or angle them out or if you want to keep them straight you can do that and also you see how the bunks are tilted down on each side if you want to take and and use a 9 16 wrench all you do is take and loosen that bolt right there and the bunks can lay flat or you can adjust them to fit whichever hole that you have on your kayak me i have the native uh, titan 12 so what i'm going to do is adjust mine out flat and uh you know use it in that that way but if you have a different hole on your kayak, you can adjust it whichever way that you would like. So I just think that with the amount of adjustability and with being able to slide it as far over as you want and tilt the bunks in and out, I think that's going to be the best for, for a kayak. And number two, right here on the back. When you're using your kayaks, the number one thing that's always aggravating for me is always having to look for straps finding a place to hook the strap and with this right here these have the uh, straps where you match this button in and you know you can pull the strap out and then when it's time to uh, retract them you just mash the button and they just go back in they're retractable retractable straps and they're also ratcheting straps so you can take and tighten them up that way so that is pretty handy and so you've got four across the back here you probably don't need that many for kayaks but you know you've got them so you know if you're using this for a jet ski uh, trailer you're definitely going to need these and you know if you're using it for a kayak you can still use these hooks now i would probably recommend you know if you are using it to hook your kayak in that you put some sort of uh, safety clip on there so uh, it can't come unhooked but you know um, that's easily fixed by just putting a carabiner on here instead of using the, the actual hook right here get you a carabiner so it don't come off so here in the the front 
uh, you've got your, your winch uh, mount on each side and it is fully adjustable. You can see right in here that you, all you'd have to do is just loosen these bolts up and the uh, winch can go all the way out to here or you can move it back a few more inches. And you can also adjust the height of it right here or you can lower it down. And uh, you know, it's just really handy to be able to, uh, to have a winch on each side. So once you slide your, your kayak up on the trailer, you can winch it down and you know, you've got a, uh, a hook right here. And then you can take, run this through the handle of your kayak and then once you loop it through the handle then you just loop it back around and hook it through the hook and you know keep it tightened up and now you've got a good tile point for the front of your kayak or your jet ski so you know it makes it really simple and i guess the big thing like i said uh for for kayak trailers um you know I, i've gotten tired of picking them up and like i said they're getting so heavy you can't you just can't pick them up anymore some like my native titan 12 there's no way i mean you could pick that thing up and put it on a, a rooftop or put it on my old kayak trailer it's just it's just way too much it's too awkward with this i can back this trailer down into the water and push them off they'll slide right off these bunks and you don't have to fight with them and i leave my kayak just fully rigged and you know i keep a, a, a cover over top of it when I bring it back home and I park it in a safe place where nobody will bother it and so I just find that this is probably the best way that I have found to to you know store your kayaks and be able to load and unload your kayaks with the least amount of trouble so I know what you gonna guys are gonna say you're gonna say well what about storage and yes that is an issue but there's ways around it uh, either you've got room right here on the tongue and you can see there's a lot of bracing right in here. You can put a uh, tongue box here in the front. And, you know, uh, right in here, I was thinking about adding some sort of support that goes across to maybe mount like a rod tube across the front of here. You know, uh, with this uh, track mounting system on the Triton trailers, I mean, it, it makes it really easy just to, you know, pop this cap off right here put a bolt in there and then now you have infinite adjustment on whatever accessory you want to put on here now is it made for kayaks no it's made for jet skis but with a little bit of you know creativeness you can make this into the ultimate kayak trailer and you know like I was said before a lot of people uh, don't really mess with aluminum that much just simply because uh, it costs a little more money and you know, most people are going for a cheaper trailer. Well, you know, I've done that in the past and it always comes back to bite me in the butt just simply because I always spend a lot of money trying to keep it painted and keep the rust down on the trailer. And, you know, it's just a pain in the butt always having to paint it every couple of years or touch it up. With this, it's not gonna rust on you. You get it in salt water, it's not gonna hurt it. You know, so I find that to be worth it to me not only that but this whole trailer weighs 330 something pounds so you can pick the trailer up and move it around uh, the yard and it's not heavy at all um, with it being eight foot wide it is a little uh, more challenging to to back in some tighter places but again um, it keeps me from having to pick these kayaks up and I'm able just to back it right down into the water no problem so very very pleased and you know, not only with uh, the trailer being 330 pounds, it also saves on fuel economy. If you've got a steel trailer that weighs five or 600 pounds or more, you know, it's gonna help cut down on some fuel economy and be a little bit easier on your tow vehicle uh, because it's a lot lighter. Now coming over here to the side of the trailer, you can see that this one has plastic fenders on it. Uh, what's good about these plastic fenders is number one, they're not gonna rust. Number two, if one breaks, you can buy another one and just bolt it right on. You don't have to have it welded or none of that. Also, you know, let's say you have a blowout. Your tire tears that fender off. You know, you can easily um, buy a replacement fender and they're, they're not expensive. 
and you can step up on these there's a spot to put your foot on each side and you could probably step up on that right there if you're not a big guy like me but uh i just find that the uh the uh, plastic fenders are the way to go like i said that confab trailer that i had um, it was starting to rust in between the inside of the fender and the frame and i couldn't get in there to to get the rust removed and it painted and so that's one reason why i ended up getting rid of that confab trailer and went to an aluminum was because i hated dealing with that rust so with this you're not going to have to worry with that at all also if you come back over here you'll notice that this has the uh, premium aluminum wheels on it you can also get it with galvanized wheels but i wanted the uh, aluminum wheels i think it looks nicer and um these are the ones that have the uh, better tires. This one here is a 145 R12. And so this thing's rated for like 81 miles per hour on the highway. So, uh, you know, you'll be able to keep up with traffic and not have to worry about it. Now, uh, the hubs, they are greasable. You just have to remove these lug nuts and pull the wheel off. And behind that cap is some uh, Zert fittings where you can put grease in it. Now, they do make some center caps that's open in the middle where you can, uh, you know, don't have to pull the wheel off. But I chose these just because I think it looks a little more dressy and it only takes a minute to pop that wheel off to grease it. Now, with the Triton trailers, uh, it's got uh, plenty of safety features on it. I'm going to run through those real quick. Uh, right in here, you can see that there's a clearance light uh, right there. And then there's like some a reflective tape here on the side. And then... If you walk right back here, you can see there's another clearance light right there on the on the trailer. Some more reflective tape there. Another uh, light right there. Then you, of course, get your, your sealed LED lights here in the back. And then you've got some more lights here in the middle. And the one thing that always aggravates me about trailers is the wiring and with this trailer you're not going to have any problems at all with the wiring and i'll tell you why because the wiring is inside the frame of the trailer so if you look the wire runs down the center of this tube and inside these tubes here and so there's nothing for the wiring to get caught on or you know pulled out on you know uh, so you don't have to worry you know about the wiring is your trailer lights going to work or if they're not going to work and this that and other so um that's very handy come on up and if you come up here to the front i have i haven't finished pulling all the packing material off the trailer yet I, like i said i just got it but one thing i wanted to to note is right here you can see that the wiring uh, pulls out uh, of this tube and there's like a rubber grommet that goes around and i really like that because if you're going to put the trailer up for uh, an extended amount of time let's say six months for the winter time you just take your wiring and you push it back up in there and it's hidden with uh, and not exposed to the elements so your wiring is going to last a long time and you know when it's time to use it you pull it out and you can see that the wiring is encased in this little sleeve like material it's kind of like a rod sock for a uh, fishing rod and it's just it's really cool how they've put wrapped it in there so you know your wiring's not going to get damaged so you know when you go to use the trailer you don't never have to worry if your lights are going to work you don't have to worry if you're going to have enough line sticking out uh, or cable to to plug into your tow vehicle you've got plenty and there's more up in there and so i think that's really awesome the way that they did the wiring on this trailer um, another safety feature that's on here is this right here uh, on this uh, two inch coupler when instead of normally what you would do is just mash up right here and lift up on that on this one it's a little different once you lock it in place you can't just mash the button because it won't lift up you have to push down and you have to put some weight on it and push down and lift up on that latch before to raise up that's an added safety feature let me show you again 
once it's locked in there you can't just pull up and you can't just lift up on this little latch right there because it won't come up so you have to kind of push down and then pull up on that little latch now to open so i thought that was really cool and it's just an extra added safety feature as far as let's say you're towing this trailer on a long distance uh, there was one thing that i that was important to me and that is you know let's say i have problems with let's say i have a bearing lockup or i need to replace the axle or a leaf spring or something i wanted to be able to have a trailer that had the leaf spring suspension up underneath it so let's say i break down i can stop off at most northern tools and pick up you know uh, maybe another axle or uh, some leaf springs or you know a set of bearings or just whatever i need to get back on the road and uh, not be stranded now they do make this uh, trailer with a uh, torsion suspension but as you can see right here this one is a leaf spring suspension and you know it's uh it's a tried and true method and it's it's very strong and so that's why i went with the leaf spring over the torsion axle uh they do say that torsion suspension is ride smoother but like i said you know if you was to break down i think you would have a lot uh more of a chance in finding you know parts for uh, this type of axle and leaf spring setup than what you would the uh, torsion system and uh, this uh, axle here you can see it's galvanized it has a galvanized coating so it's not going to rust now you might get a little bit of rust from the leaf springs but you can go back and paint those if you wanted to appreciate you guys uh, watching my video i hope this gives you some insight uh, it's raining on me right now so i'm going to end this video pretty soon but uh thanks for watching and Stay tuned, I've got more updates on this trailer. Have a good one, guys. Getting out of the rain.